my friend, welcome to Resting as Awareness. In the previous lesson, you've discovered that you can let go of the I am feeling. You have experientially discovered that you do not have to be focused down into the feeling I am present. It's a glorious feeling, it's a glorious state of consciousness. Presence consciousness is a glorious state, it's your greater self in manifest form. It's the energy aspect of your beingness. But you know now that you have even more freedom. So yes, you do have the freedom to focus as the I am presence, but now you also have the freedom to not focus on the I am presence. So now that you've discovered in your direct experience more of what awareness is like, just by itself, just the I, I am aware. You can start to practice actually simply resting in that awareness, resting as that awareness. So a few crucial aspects or points, pointers to how to most effortlessly relax into that which is always already here is first of all to realize that it is always already here. There's not a single moment throughout this whole video where you are not aware of my voice. You're effortlessly aware of this moment. So just for a moment, I ask you to pause two to five seconds perhaps and recognize that there's an awareness of this moment, of this presence moment. Got it? Recognize it? Now simply surrender to that. Fall in love with it. Rest into it. Rest as it. Rest as being aware of. Without placing the emphasis on the things that you're aware of, but placing the emphasis instead on the fact that you're aware of them. So you're simply resting in the recognition that you are aware of this moment. And if words help for you, like sort of like a mantra, you can use the sentence, I am aware. I am aware of this moment. I am noticing that I am aware. Another crucial pointer, in addition to knowing that awareness is always already here, is to recognize that whatever comes up as an appearance, created out of presence, energy, beingness, love, light, regardless of the appearances that come up in the field of presence consciousness. Awareness is always already here. And you can let the appearances be as they are. In other words, normally we identify our sense of self with what appears. Very automatically so, we identify with what appears. Now I'm inviting you to stop that process and to simply instead rest as awareness whenever things do appear. So let's say a thought appears and normally you would have jumped onto that thought and held onto it and believed that somehow that meant something to you, that that was important to you. But now I ask you to Simply let the appearance be the appearance while you rest as being aware of the appearance. So again, it's a shift in where you place the emphasis of your focus, of your identity. It's no longer invested in the appearances. It's no longer even necessarily invested, although that's not a bad thing, in the sense I am presence. I am here, I am now. But now it's simply the I remaining as the I. Pure self remaining as pure self. Pure subjectivity remaining pure subjectivity. Knowing itself as the subject, not getting caught up in the appearances or the objects. So as appearances appear, you simply continue to naturally rest in the fact that you are aware. It's very simple. In fact, it's so simple that it's 
what you always already do inevitably. So even when you believe you're being caught up in appearances, even when you believe you are the I am or the I am this, during all of these appearances, all of these identifications, the actual truth of the matter is that you are the I that's aware of it all within its own field of consciousness, within its own field of awareness, the I am presence appears. And with I am presence, everything else appears because everything else is made out of I am present. Nevertheless, you always are the subject already, the ultimate free agent subject, the infinite one's subject, consciousness, agent, freedom, freedom principle. You are its free will. You are its free choice. You are its awareness. So simply rest as what you already are. Notice that you already are awareness. And then when you notice that, you can give yourself permission to relax into that knowingness that's already knowing this moment. As you're resting as awareness, while appearances appear, seemingly endure for a moment, and then disappear from view, while you're resting, while you're abiding, while you're naturally rested and anchored, in knowing that you are awareness. While you practice this, what you'll notice is again one of those core benefits that come with self-realization, which is the realization that you as awareness remain unaffected by appearances of any kind. That means that it doesn't matter what happens to you because in a sense it does not happen to you. It appears to you, but it doesn't happen to you. It's not a personal thing. So thoughts, emotions, beliefs, circumstances, relationships, physical appearances, circumstances, financial situations, all of these things that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis are actually not who you are. They appear to who you are. And so as you rest this awareness, you will start to see that. You will start to notice that an appearance comes up and poof, it disappears and you remain completely unaffected, you start to notice that, yes, maybe there were feelings, but I as awareness, the awareness of the feelings, is still the awareness that it was when it was aware of the feelings. Now it's aware of not as many feelings, or maybe seemingly no feelings at all, or sense of neutrality, or maybe a positive feeling. But the awareness that's aware of this conversation before a feeling appears and arises, is the same exact changeless awareness that is aware of the feeling while it is present and begging for your attention, which is fine. Just rest as awareness while your mind notices the feelings. Simply keep resting in the recognition for two to five seconds again and again that you are aware. And that same awareness present during the emotional turmoil is also present when all the emotional appearances disappear and subside and disappear from view disappear from your awareness in that moment, then you still remain with that which you always already were. I, I, I am aware, the pure I. This can be likened onto space or say sky. Clouds appear all the time inside of the sky. In fact, in a sense, you could say they're made out of sky. They are due to sky. They are enabled by sky. Without the spaciousness of the sky, the presence of the clouds could not be present. Very similarly, the presence of your emotions and the presence of your energy and presence in general could not be present, could not be present without the space of awareness. It is inside of the spacious awareness, this cognizance, this ability to know, this universal ability to know this moment that presence can occur. Presence in all of its forms can occur. So while these clouds appear in the sky, the sky is not actually affected. The sky's coloring, the sky's density, the sky's energy is affected. But those are the contents. Whereas awareness, remember, is the container for the contents, for the appearances. And so just like a movie screen is not affected by the appearances that are projected onto it, even if the movie is very dramatic and very intense, at the end of the movie, when the movie is turned off, the screen is still the screen. 
Now the screen was still that same exact screen, even with the light projected onto it in different forms, showing different motion pictures. But during the movie, we don't tend to notice the screen because the movie is so engaging. It's so entertaining. It's so sucking us into the story of it, the definitions that we've built up around it. And so we tend to only see and perceive what is projected onto the field of awareness. But we tend to miss the fact that there is awareness. So this lesson is all about resting into awareness, learning to rest as awareness, and to become even clearer in your recognition that you are aware. And as you keep doing that, you will find that the screen of awareness, that the sky of awareness, that the space of awareness remains unaffected no matter what appears. And this is a beautiful, beautiful realization. It's so liberating. The more clearly you see that you are not affected by even your own thoughts and emotions and stories and beliefs and history and past and future projections. You're free. You're free from yourself. And that is, again, the highest freedom you could ever wish for. Freedom from yourself. Because then you truly are able to recreate yourself from a new angle. But that is more the domain of the empowerment teachings, not so much of the enlightenment teachings. Nevertheless, it's really great to know that you can only recreate yourself, you can only reshape your reality if you come from a neutral point of view, if you've had hit the reset button in a sense, and awareness resets the button of your reality because it shows you in no uncertain terms that you are awareness, not what you perceive. Again, you can apply the neti neti approach as well as learned in enlightenment one. So, when clouds appear, when fireworks go off, ask yourself, is the sky, the space of the sky itself, the container of the sky itself affected? Does it change? Is it disturbed? No. Similarly, when your emotional fireworks start firing off, start exploding in your sky of awareness, is the fact that you are aware affected? No. So what is the answer to freedom? What is the solution to suffering? It is to rest as who you truly are, to rest as the immaculate, changeless sky, so that in no uncertain terms you can become convinced experientially of the fact that it does not matter what happens. Also, you will start to relinquish attachment to outcome. This does not mean you become necessarily passive about your life or necessarily a potato couch, a couch potato, sorry. <laughs> it does not mean that you stop engaging with your life. It simply means that you realize that at the core of your being, you're not affected by outcome. You're not dependent on outcome. And so a large majority of your expectations, of your tightly held beliefs and expectations for certain outcomes, that because you've identified yourself with the movie of your life, you believe you need to have these outcomes in order to gain liberation, to feel free. What you'll start noticing the more you simply rest and relax in or as awareness is that these things don't matter to you as much anymore. You start to simply develop a very relaxed, confident attitude throughout life, no matter what occurs, because your identity is now no longer dependent on the forms of presence consciousness. They now are simply rested in the truth of the I, the purity of I, the constant free nature of I am spacious, clear, clarity, free awareness. I'm the first principle of infinity. Sometimes people ask me, is there a difference between resting in and resting as awareness? There are some differences, but they're very subtle and in the end, they're quite irrelevant. So it is dependent upon what works best for you. The approach you should take is dependent upon what works best for you. So let's say I say the sentence, rest in awareness. That in a sense feels more to me at least, but check in with yourself. This might be completely different for you. 
it feels more like we as a being are resting inside the all pervasiveness, the spaciousness of awareness, which is not a bad thing at all because it allows us to recognize that there is awareness and relax our bodily mental tension, the identification tension, and allow it to merge into that greater self that we recognize, that we rest inside of, in a sense. We rest in the feeling, in the sense, in the clarity of awareness. Now, when I say rest as awareness, it has a slightly different connotation or slightly different feel to it for most people. Again, check in with yourself, but this is what it does for me. When I say to myself, rest as awareness, it more has the practical application of allowing me to remain conscious of the fact that I am awareness, even while appearances appear. So appearances appear in front of me, but I can rest as the awareness that is right here in a sense. Of course, location is an illusion inside of awareness as well. But for the sake of analogy, I could say that I am resting as the awareness within which appearances appear. So sometimes it's easier to not be moved or swayed by appearances as much when you say, I'm resting as the awareness, no matter what appears. Whereas when you say rest in awareness, it usually is more a matter of stopping the appearances for a moment or stopping your thoughts about the appearances or no longer referencing the appearances. For example, as we do in those two to five second moments when we part the clouds so that we can see the sky, right? So when we relax our mind, we are resting inside of the recognition of awareness, being here. We recognize awareness and we rest in that recognition. And for that moment, we're not really aware of our thoughts. We're not really referencing external objects or appearances. When I'm resting as awareness, which in a sense you could say is the next step of resting in awareness, I can simply rest as that awareness of which I've already become confident and convinced because I've recognized it when I parted the clouds, I recognized sky-like awareness. When I parted the clouds of my mind, I recognized the sky-like awareness. And because I grew more convinced of the fact that it is always already here, and I became more familiar with its fundamental quality of spaciousness, clarity, freedom, aloofness, joy, I can now simply apply that to this moment without having to take a two to five second moment of parting the clouds or not referencing thoughts. Now I can simply include it in my moment and shift my emphasis from the appearances to the fact that I'm resting as awareness. And then I can simultaneously still be aware of the appearances. So in the end, it doesn't really matter what, what you use as long as it, as it works best for you, as long as it feels the most experiential to you in that moment. Use the word in, use the word as awareness, it doesn't matter. Just keep resting in or as awareness and you will start to feel that it becomes more natural, it becomes more automatic, it becomes more obvious, it becomes easier and it becomes more and more your default mode of being, your standardized mode of being, your automatic response to appearances becomes to rest in and or as awareness. As long as there is a recognition of awareness, whether it feels like you're resting in it or your being it, allowing appearances to be as they are. As long as the recognition of awareness is there, it's all good. You're doing the practice correctly in that sense. So, enjoy your exploration of resting in and or as awareness, letting thoughts and emotions simply be as they are with no need to transform them, no need to change them, no need to make your well-being dependent on them anymore, and simply shift your sense of well-being from being tied to appearances to being awareness itself. And then thoughts can come, they can go. Then emotions can come, they can go. Beliefs, they can come, they can go. Other people, they can come, they can go. Insults, they can come, they can go. Circumstances, they can come, they can go. Finances, they can come, they can go. Opportunities, they can come, they can go. Success and failure, they can come, they can go. But you, my friend, are aware. And that becomes your main identity. That becomes your source of well-being. That becomes your source of peace, ease, and even joy. 
learn to enjoy being awareness. It's already true. So why not learn to enjoy what's already always the case? Let go of control. Let go of needing outcome to change and see yourself naturally resting purely into this moment, into the freedom, into the spaciousness of pure awareness. Even when you do this for two to five seconds at a time, it's one of the most powerful gifts you can give to yourself to rest as pure awareness for two to five seconds repeatedly throughout the day until it's naturally convinced, naturally obvious of itself, to itself. And then it becomes effortless. And then it's simply here. And then you simply know that that's who you are. And then outcome simply doesn't matter to you anymore. And you start to live in the moment quite naturally. And your attention starts to shift quite organically from I am free aloof awareness to I am also presence energy expressing itself fully and being very alive and present and vivid and energetic. But also I am very free and spacious and unmanifest and untouchable. And so these two aspects of enlightenment, these two levels of the greater self, the manifest presence consciousness and the unmanifest pure subject I awareness, they become both part of your being both part of your tool set, both part of what is obvious to you. And now you can start to free flow between these two. So for this lesson, the homework will be one, that you read, listen or watch this lesson's contents at least twice more before continuing with the next lesson and simply allow my voice, my written words or my face and my words to guide you Naturally, now that you know the contents already because you've heard this once, you can simply repeat it two more times before your next lesson or more, whatever you want, but at least twice more and use it as a very effortless guided meditation to where you simply start noticing the subtleties of what I just spoke about in your own immediate direct experience and liberate yourself in that way and give yourself more and more permission to relax and expand into that which is always already here, hearing my voice as we speak. Assignment two is that you at least three times, but you can do this more often if you want to, before you start your next lesson, you sit down in a more traditional type of meditation for 15 minutes. So it's at least three times before the next lesson. And what you do is you learn to let things be as they are so that you can quite effortlessly see that you're already always rested as awareness even when things are going on. So thoughts, emotions come up. Thoughts about circumstances, thoughts about people, thoughts about your emotions, feelings come up, physical sensations come up. But you learn to detach yourself from these ideas by simply letting them be there with no longer any need to control them because you no longer imply to yourself that you are dependent upon the changing of these circumstances or these feelings. Appearances don't matter to you. So this is the 15 minutes of appearances don't matter to me. I don't care what happens. I can let this moment be completely as it is, wild as it may be, uh, tur um, turbulent as it may be, wild as it may feel, I can simply let it be the fireworks that it is while I rest as the peacefully loving gazing sky of the pure subject of I am aware. So do this for about 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be in a constant state of absolute clarity. You can't expect that from yourself. Again, expectations are not part of what matter to you because that's part of the appearance. But you use these 15 minutes to consistently recognize that you don't care what happens in those 15 minutes. Appearances are simply observed as completely neutral and empty appearances. And you are noticing the vividness of your own awareness present there. And that becomes your identity. And then simply continue, or actually after every session of these 15 minutes, I want you to write down one or two or three paragraphs on the things that you noticed shift in your experience, changes in experience, subtle realizations you may have had or radical shifts in identity you may have had, whatever you noticed consciously about your shift when you started resting as awareness and letting the thoughts and emotions be as they are. Write these things down 
sort of as a diary example, as a diary exercise. And then the third homework, so the first is read or listen to this lesson two more times. The second assignment is 15 minute meditation at least three times. And after every session individually, after, after every individual session, you write down the things that you notice that stood out to you, that you realized changes in your experience, write them out. And the third assignment is to simply continue throughout everyday life at least 25 times per day to take a very sincere pausing moment of two to five seconds of absolute pure noticing awareness only so that it can increase and enhance your familiarization process, your conviction process, getting convinced of this awareness so that it becomes effortless. That's what we want. That's what I want for you as for the understanding I am awareness to become so effortless that it doesn't matter what appears you simply see that you are awareness it becomes automatic it becomes effortless it becomes pure it becomes total it becomes free it's no longer requiring your practice you can still emphasize it even more if you want to but at least it will be your default mode of understanding the appearances don't affect you because you are awareness and please consider sharing some of this homework, some of your exercises, some of the paragraphs you wrote down, your challenges, etc. And to share that in the appropriate corresponding study group that goes with this lesson so that others may learn from your challenges and from your um, realizations and that you may aid and assist others and that others may aid and assist you. And so we can generate a tighter, better, more um, helpful community. And Again, give yourself permission to completely enjoy this process, to enjoy this homework. Because if you don't give yourself permission to enjoy this homework, then you'll just be going through the motions, but it won't be as sincere. Realize the benefit that this will give you. Realize why we are doing this. Realize why you are here listening to this lesson, why you've made it as far as you have made it already. It is because this is what you desire. So give yourself full permission to enjoy noticing that you're aware over and over and over again. Prioritize that. Do that for yourself.